New tonight, we're hearing what it was like for corrections officers inside the Bristol County House of Corrections, where inmates carried out a destructive standoff last week. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Images released today by the Sheriff's Office show hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish spoke to the union representing correction officers and joins us now with a look at what they faced. Broken glass, smashed TVs, and makeshift weapons. These images released Monday show the hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage done by prisoners at the Bristol County House of Correction on Friday. But despite this destruction, nobody got hurt, and those I spoke with say that's thanks to the corrections officers. And a lot of times, um, situations like that don't end with that result. Sheriff Paul Haro says Bristol County inmates began resisting when being moved to new units on Friday. As that happened, corrections officers deactivated a control panel and quickly exited the housing unit. That quick thinking is what Haro says prevented the situation from getting worse. Uh, the COs quickly backed out, locked the door. It was, they were seconds away from being locked in there with the um, inmates, which would have been a hostage situation. It was really that close. The union that represents the corrections officers says the officers did everything they were trained to do. It's something we think about every minute of the day, um, something like this could happen, and what would we do? Sheriff Haro says there were four officers in the housing unit at the time of the uprising compared to dozens of inmates. The individuals that were watching inside are the same individuals that couldn't conform to the laws while they were um, free and it's a very dangerous uh, and scary volatile situation that we're all faced with every day. 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell worked at the ACI. He says officers are trained to de-escalate the situation and make sure nobody gets hurt. Their job is custody and control of inmates. That is not punitive. That makes sure that the inmates that are in there are safe. And so um, without a doubt, the correctional officers and staff, they do have relationships with inmates. A lot of the inmates like most of the correctional staff. That's just how it works. Now, Sheriff Haro says the so-called ringleaders of this uprising will be facing charges. He also says they'll be releasing video footage of what happened, including the response from corrections officers sometime in the future. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.